2023 presidency. Fresh suit seeks to disqualify article. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A constitutional lawyer, John Mary Jidiobi, on Tuesday approached the Federal High Court, FHC Abuja, to challenge the eligibility of former Vice President al Haji Atiku Abubakar to contest the 2023 presidential election. Politics Nigeria reports. It's the compliment and the suit stated that Atiku, who is the presidential candidate, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, is not constitutionally qualified to participate in the contest. Jirobi told the court to determine whether by the combined provisions of sections 1, 1, and 2, 25, and 131A of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999, as amended, only a Nigerian citizen by birth can contend for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Some persons often claim Atiku is a Cameroonian and not a Nigerian. It is not the first time a suit will be seeking to challenge Atiku's eligibility for presidency. Okay. About three months ago, an Abuja division of the FHC dismissed a suit seeking to challenge the eligib eligibility of the former vice president to contest for the office of the president. Justice Iyangeko dismissed the suit on the ground that a plaintiff that instituted the case lacked the legal right to do so. A group called the Incorporated Trustees of the Egalitarian Mission for Africa, EMA, had instituted a suit marked FHC ABJ CS 177-2019 against Atiku. PDP Independent National and Electoral Commission, INEC, and Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, Abu Bakar Malami. Well, I don't know about this one that is going on. Sincerely, a very old, so unsubstantial, ad hominem propaganda and frivolous lawsuit by Bad Bele Equiry Connection. And supporter of Winky. Maybe should leave me to cheese. Evil man will never say anything good about Winky because he stopped her from bringing unknown gunmen to his state. Are you really serious right now? What is this bad belay in this issue? I have come to find out that many residents in Nigeria are from neighboring countries. What is the bad belay? I have come to find out that many residents in Nigeria are from neighboring countries. If some people say let them speak out gas from Chamba, who are cross borders at will. Former Sada province as publicized from Northern Cameroon. The, the Get a, get a full any man, cow man to ask. Okay. At the end of the day, we're going to find out who exactly this cap fits. We should make sure we we'll vote for that person. No matter, no matter what. No matter what. We should make sure we'll, we'll find that competent person and make sure we give her. Okay. Atiku is a citizen of Nigeria from Adamawa State, a former custom controller general, a former vice president of Nigeria, a former PDP presidential candidate against Buhari, and again, a PDP presidential candidate for the 2023 election. After going through all the screening processes to obtain all these important provisions in government and politics, and because he defeated VK in the primary, suddenly, when K, the Queen's connection, filed the fraudulent, the fraudulent, Lawsuit alleging that Etiku is not. In the PDP primary, suddenly Wiki query connection filed the frivolous lawsuit against Etiku that is not a citizen of Nigeria. What a frivolous and uncivilized and hominem propaganda against Etiku. 
Some people are just nuisance to themselves. Why is this lawyer trying to make himself known? Is he sitting at the more gates or for a referendum done? Okay. The Saudina Conference referendum was opened for these people lumped together to choose where they fare better later. And they chose Nigeria. What then is your logic or just to make noise? Okay. Waste of precious time and scarce resources. Let's not forget the scandalous case of Shugawa during MPN government. This case is just a wide good chase. This rough occur of a person, you are an Igbo man that does not know what he's doing. Imagine an Igbo man judging between a South South man and Fulani of. Okay. This rough Okoro of a person, you are just an Igbo man that does not know what he's doing. Imagine an Igbo man judging between a South South man and a Fulani man of. But he said, um, what's the called article is from Ad Adamawa State. Yes, it's outside from Ad Adamawa State. Okay. The present day Nigeria was born on the day that Atiku, part of Cameroon, came, became one country with the. Okay. The president of Nigeria was born on the day that Atiku, part of Cameroon, became one country with them, Republic of Nigeria. The borders were extended, etc. So if you were that. Okay. This case is dead of rather be beside the election case against Buhari. I think was never lost any case in modern day Nigeria. Well we're going to see how this unfolds. Unfortunately, um well no, we'll have to wait. Because me, I've been hearing that um the VP, the former VP is actually from Adamawa. So coming back now to hear that he's actually not the one I've been dealing with. Okay. Okay. Well, we just hope that uh, at the end of the day, just like, uh, what's it called? Okay. All right. At the end of the day, we're going to watch and see how everything unfolds. If terrible, I mean, if uh, was a called Turbo has um all right. Well at the end of the day we're going to see how this thing really really goes out or plays out. On this note we've come to the end of the news to say thank you for doing it to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.